Jerron Seymour is the starting tailback, and he'll get the handoff. Not much running. More on that a little bit later on. Wildcat here with Seymour taking the snap. Running lane for Seymour as he gets up to about the 27. For Vanderbilt's offense this year, and Jerron Seymour does a great job running it because of his patience. You look at him, kind of hesitate there, let his blockers set up. And it really has shifted him out well tonight so far. It's the season with him. Poor pass. Samuels chased by Ely. Ely nearly got him. And now he's... Matt, if they're not able to start running the football here early, it's going to be very difficult for Vanderbilt to find anybody open in the secondary. You see the pressure. Wesley Tate, his first carry. Three defense off guard. Samuels to the air, in and out of the hands of Jordan Matthews. <laughs> Heavy rush. Samuels will run for the first down and get it. Days in situations when you're trying to put the game away. Tate now with the Wildcat situation is saying you split out to the top of the screen and Tate on the run. Tate got it. Well, that's a an aggressive call and you see Wesley Tate getting the ball off tackle avoided a fleet a free rusher in the backfield there that could have been disastrous. But I like the aggressiveness with which James Franklin has taken this new approach in the last. He told these guys, we're going to cut it loose. And right there, you saw the aggressive nature going forward on fourth down. Wildcat again, Seymour. Nothing doing right there. Second down and eight. This is the 12th play of the drive. It's gone 55 yards in five and a half minutes. And Samuels is crushed back at the 24-yard line. Michael Sam, who had a career-high three-quarter. Take a look at Michael Sam right here coming off the left side of your screen. Had a big game last week, as you mentioned, just forces his way up for, around the outside. But really, that sack was made by the pressure up the middle. You saw both defensive tackles push the pocket. Samuels underneath. Seymour flag out for four years as a starter here in the boarding holding penalty. Tate gets the rod, hops over a man. And Wesley take down to the two. Right now it's Seymour in the Wildcat. Tosses back to Samuels. Throws to Matthews in the backfield. Commodore's 44% on the season. Quarterback keeper and Samuels with the second all time. It's the best since 1953 in this Vanderbilt program. As Seymour gets the handoff. A of Vanderbilt's offensive production. Seymour, five and a half to play in the half. Samuels, long throw, and it's caught. Nobody open for Samuels, and then fires to Katerra. Three of eight on the thirds. Third short here, heavy rush. Samuels chased, he's caught, but he got the first down and get across that 35-yard line for a first down. Looks like we got a hold there. Ely was held as he was bringing the pass rush. Samuels get the first down. You're going to punt it back to Missouri. I'm not so sure they wouldn't be able to score before the half. As you see, Wesley Johnson holding big number 47. Tony Ely coming off the edge, drawing the holding call. You get a good look. You get those hands outside the frame. It's an easy call for the referee to make. First and 20, ball at the 25 yard line. Samuels deep fire off the fingertips of likely a passing down situation. Dropped. Samuels runs it up the middle. Andrew Wilson had him slip. This is a big one right here. Tate got it. 
Well, that's an aggressive call, and you see Wesley Tate getting the ball off tackle, avoided a, fleet, a free rusher in the backfield there. That could have been disastrous. But I like the aggressiveness with which James Franklin has taken this new approach in the last couple of weeks. It's been red hot. Austin Carter Samuels, not so much, but he completes his first pass here. And that's Jonathan Crowd interception very costly as it led to a touchdown. Seymour, cut back, grabbed from behind by Bonner. Carter Samuels, heavy rush, dumps it off. Krause, his second catch. Oh, SEC records as well. This is just a great young man with a great story. It's going to do very well at the next level. Carter Samuels throws. It is complete. Matthews is very dangerous. Look at our man Steck. He doesn't have the cast on anymore. Running Wildcat here. And a first down carry for Jerron C. Bandy with only 189 yards of offense here tonight. They average 416 a game. That's been the other ball there. Keep possession for Bandy. It was the tight end. Steven Shoy. Heavy rush and Marcus Golden. Rushers for his defense. Officially a sack and a half for Golden. They swing it out here to Tate. Tate inside the 30 and Tate the 14. Krause sitting underneath the coverage inside the five. Green Beckham tonight. And Marcus Lucas having another good evening. Run it. ACS scrambling, has to get rid of it, throws it. But Georgia could be a beat up team when the Tigers show up next week. ACS, Andrew Wilson, Gurley. Gurley. And so. It's a tough situation for that Georgia offense now with two of the top running backs out. Now Samuels fires, that's complete to cut. Just in 15, and he rushed Sam, missed him, but Ely did not. Quite last week, and then tonight, very active as well in the backfield. Lots of time. Crossing route, Tate not going anywhere. That ain't going to get it done. Stumbling in the route from the Missouri 47. Three-man rush. And Sam on a three-man rush gets the quarterback sack. They sit three and still. Edge by Coney Ely multiple times. That time it was Michael Sam that was able to get around the edge and drag Carter Samuels down of country music, so it's a good thing he doesn't live in Nashville. Teach their own. I, I kind of disagree with him, guys. I tell you what, that's what an offensive lineman looks like as ACS airs it. Ah! Second down and 10. Going deep again, and Krause with the touch. Get the over on that. I like it, too, but that's fine. We'll do it. First and 10. Ball is at the 25-yard line. Austin Curtis Samuels with the run right up the middle. And he, eight and a half minutes to play. Lots of time for Curtis Samuels, and that is complete to Jerron Seymour. He gets beyond this. is knowing that the clock's continuing to wind as they get closer to the end of the ballgame. Ely with his second sack of the night and number six. Look at Ely right here on the right side of your screen. He's going to come off and again just beat the tackle. Little dip move. Wesley Johnson is getting brutal. You don't see often, but he's had his hands full between Michael Sam, Coney Ely, Marcus Golden with a couple seconds. Third long situation. Bandy is two of three on their fourth downs here tonight. They've done well in that situation this season. The fortunate thing is they've been in those situations way too often. Here comes the rush and Sam with another quarterback sack a flag down his third sack of the Knights as they are whipping Vanderbilt up front and they'll have the ball again when we get back simply if you even improve the special teams baggage has been able to convert a little more consistently with a couple field goal tries tonight I think these guys have got to be feeling very very confident as Commodores following that run by Brian Kimbrough Pushes it out to the 37. Jordan Matthews makes a this Vanderbilt offense, but unfortunately, it's not enough when you haven't been able to get the Missouri offense off the field. 
Kimbrough. Eight yard line, 19 seconds to play. Carter Samuels again flushed out of the pocket. Scrambling throws, it is complete. Contera again. Bandy trying to get a late score here, make the score a tad bit more respectable. Probably the final play right there is Austin.